Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're covering uh, section 3.3.2, example 9. This is part 2 of that um, from uh, Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. I'm going to move fast, but you can always rewind. Thumbs up and share if you appreciate my effort. As always, questions can go in a video response or in the comments below. And let's continue. So we, we came up with this equation for the problem that was uh, described, described in uh, example 9 where we had a sphere of radius r centered on the origin of surface charge density sigma naught of theta. And this is the equations that we came up with. Now we're going to, this is a 1 by the way, I know it's messy but oh well. Now we're going to do an example here where he, he suggests we take a look at what happens if our sigma naught of theta is equal to this. So if our sigma naught of theta is equal to some constant k times cos theta. Okay, and what does that represent? Well, cos theta gives you like the z component of that uh, uh, in spherical coordinates. And so, so k cos theta is basically, um, you know, some point that's along the vertical axis. So if, if the surface charge depends on how far up or down you are on that sphere, we plug this in, so we have our am is equal to 1 over 2 epsilon naught r to the m minus 1 integral from 0 to pi of our sigma naught theta which is k cos theta oh by the way this is just because uh, the first uh, Legendre polynomial is just whatever's inside the parentheses so it's x or cos theta and then we're going to take uh, so this is p1 we're going to take pm cos theta and then sine theta d theta and as you should recognize right away that this this all of this this integral basically turns into 2 over 2 m plus 1 but only when m equals to 1 because other because that's the only Legendre polynomial we have in that in that sigma naught so our am becomes a1 equals 1 over 2 epsilon naught r to the m minus 1 k on the top times 2 over 2 m plus 1. 2 m plus 1, that's m is 1, so that's 3. So that's 3. And I just recognize that this is 1 minus 1, this is 0, so this term is actually nothing. And these two cancel, and so we get k over epsilon naught, 3 epsilon naught. That's our a1. And a m where m is not equal to 1 is equal to zero. Okay? So plugging that back into our potentials, our potential outside becomes, let's bring this up for reference, we should probably circle this result. And am where m is not equal to one is zero. So let's plug in the outside potential. So we're going to go sum, but everything is zero except for the one term. So we have a1, which is k over 3 epsilon naught. And then r to the 2l plus 1. Well, l is 1, so that's r cubed divided by r to the l plus 1, which is squared, times pl cos theta. Well, that's just cos theta, because it's p1. And our internal potential is equal to a to the 1, which is k over 3 epsilon naught r cos theta. So that's the potential that it looks like when we're given the uh, surface charge that depends only on the vertical axis. It's proportional to how high up and down you are on that sphere. And um, if you remember example um, 8. So go back and review if you don't remember example 8. Um, we had a, a uh, field that was vertical throughout space and we tried to put a conducting sphere inside of that field. And if we substitute k is equal to, if k is equal to minus 3 epsilon naught e naught, okay, then we're going to get the same potentials we got out of that equation. Um, because if you notice, let's plug it in here, so v inside. Plug that in, 3's cancel, e cancel, so you get epsilon naught minus epsilon naught r cos theta. What's r cos theta? That's just z in Cartesian coordinates. Okay, So the internal electric field cancels exactly the external electric field 
which is what a conductor would do. It would maintain an internal potential that's flat. It doesn't have any charge inside. It means it's flat. And of course, the external field will become, in this particular case, the 3 epsilon naught. So it's minus E naught the radius cubed over R squared cos theta. So interesting result. Um, probably not completely surprising. If you want, you can play around with different uh, sigma naughts. Um, you probably want to only have them have one or two of the Legendre terms to make your life a little easier. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.